that car. <sighs> well, what's going on? What are we doing? What are we doing today? Getting ready to go. Kyle's half asleep. I am. That's why I'm drinking 300 milligrams of espresso. Where are we going? Fort Worth, Texas. Ray Roberts. Little tournament. Some of y'all might have heard of it. Bassmaster Classic. Practice starts in a couple days. What are we going to do before practice starts? <clears throat> a lot of driving. A lot of prepping. I've got almost every single rod rigged the way I want it to rig. I want it to be rigged. I'm still going to place an order. Probably from Tournament Tackle. Try to get me some extra stuff in just before the classic. So, got a couple things working. Would like to show y'all one thing though. I've been a bass member for a long, long time. Probably, I don't know, this bag might be 10 years old. But they've been giving these bags forever. But I've always traveled around to fish using my bass member bag like this. And then I would put my reels inside the bag. These are some of my old, this is like a, I don't know, 2010 Shimano Corrado. That's probably when this one came out, the E7. This is one that dude, people love this dang thing. But this is where I usually keep my re extra reels in the truck. But it ain't much of a bag anymore. It's got big, giant rips in the in the thing, in thing every side of it. The inside's coming all apart. So. Are we taking that with us? Yes, we're taking this with us. I think we need to upgrade. I've got about 15 more of these bags never been opened. So maybe you should just use one of the new ones. Well, this is how many rods I feel like I need for the next tournament on Ray Roberts. I think it's going to be one of those deals where it's probably going to be one offshore, but you could definitely still catch a bass or two shallow. So got to be ready for everything and anything and whatever comes our way. So we got everything tied on. Way too many rods. I like to blast off in the morning and only have a few rods. This is way too many. Got some extras, extra point blanks. Got some extra spin rod, extra jerk bait rod, all kinds of rods. I just keep some extras all the time just in case you never know when I might slam one in the compartment and break one. It's not what you're supposed to do, but I do it sometimes. So I, I like to put these things in in order of probably not going to use. That means the frog's going to be on top, right? The frog and the flipping is going to be on very top, wherever it's at, right there. Frog will be on top, flipping going to be on top, a uh, little top water walking bait going to be on top. That means spinning rods are going to bottom. Spin rods. We don't like those. We don't like those. One of the things I don't use a lot in practice is some super slow baits. Like I've got a straight tail worm right there rigged up, like a stick worm rigged up just on a Texas rig. I don't use that kind of stuff a lot in practice. Untamed tackle swimming jig, green pumpkin, cut down a little bit smaller. Definitely gonna be using that. It's like if I'm fishing offshore, definitely gonna be using this dude right here. So I need that to be up top this is something else i'm gonna be using fishing offshore a lot so i need that it's like i need it all man i seem to need it all that's why it's all here punching rod surprisingly enough don't really think i'm gonna use a punching rod this is actually a lighter weight punching rod i got 50 pound braid a one ounce weight and only a seven six heavy rod same rod i caught that 10 pounder on last year on st john but not a super heavy rod not quite heavy enough for like hyacinths and stuff like that but we'll put we'll go ahead and put him in there because I don't think I'm gonna be punching much grass, but see how it goes. I don't know how many rods is possible to fit in the Ranger, the way it comes stock with them holes, but that's gotta be about the dang max. So, like I said, Ray Roberts is one of those lakes where <clears throat> I literally think you can win shallow or deep, but I do believe overwhelmingly it's gonna be one deep. But you gotta have enough rods and stuff to really mix it up those lakes are so diverse this one in general in, in particular so diverse there's some really clear water there's some semi-stained water there's a lot of super deep water there's a lot of really shallow water 
So you gotta have a little bit of everything tied on for practice. And I kind of do this for every single elite event, like going to Gunnersville, I had just as many rides in this sucker. Cause I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know if it was gonna catch them in 24 feet on current breaks or if it was gonna catch them in two feet on current breaks or out of grass or out of docks or what. We just didn't have any idea. So you gotta have it all. It's a lot easier to take it out and leave it in the hotel room than it is to have it if you ain't didn't bring it in the first place. So load it up. In 800 feet, turn left onto Cherry Drive. We are officially on the road. On the way. On the way to Fort Worth. On the way to Ray Roberts. Still catches a daggum bass or two. Continue on north. Now that's something I want to talk about right there is frogging. Right now I'm using a 7.6 heavy fast point blank rod that I custom built. I'm using a Shimano Corrado 70 MGL that I got from GLL Outdoors. And I'm using 50 pound Sunline X Plasma braid. Kyle answering some questions on the way. First gas stop. First of many gas stops. Officially in Mississippi. Mississippi. Where's this? This is, we're actually, look at that. Oh. <laughs> I was like, it says Mississippi. It says Mississippi River. Oh. Yeah. I like, we've been in Mississippi for like three hours, four hours now. Oh, I don't know. This is the state I line. I just ride. I'm just, I'm just, just chilling. I'm trying to do stuff on my She's just waiting on Siri to say something. So it's been a minute since our last gas station stop. This is stupid. We have three miles to empty and the next gas station is quite a lot. Quite a ways away. This don't even make any sense. This is stupid, dude. Yeah. It is like pouring down the rain. It really don't make any sense. If anybody's in Louisiana, uh, we ran into some gas. It might, it might roll a little bit when it gets to zero, but sometimes this thing goes off at like nine. I've had, a, I've had a run out at 35 one time. Oh man, it literally went from like 30 to one in like. Six or seven miles, bro. Not sure how we're still rolling, but we're still rolling. <laughs> oh man! Anybody out there got any gas money? In a quarter mile, merge onto I-20 West. Not sure how, but we are still rolling. Ain't sure how either. We've been in circuit neutral. We have been like a, a mile on zero. Oh, after it then cut off one time please let me know cars coming thank you jesus please don't be out of gas oh god oh never mind i saw that first bag oh yeah <gasps> that was a bag it was a bag on the first one i seen i was like no <laughs> we rolled into the gas station that ain't the first time i've done that actually that is crazy kyle but it's crazy though because we've seen a couple of cars like on the interstate where we just were like i think there's no gas station for like 50 miles we was in the bermuda triangle or something because i went from like literally 65 miles till e in 20 minutes to out of gas i ain't missed 65 miles in 20 minutes if i could i'd be in texas by now <laughs> we got that much gas thank god i don't know that's exactly how big this gas tank is i know that Good morning. We're at the restaurant I ate at every day for the Elite event. I don't even know where we are. That is true. Lake Fork. As you can see by all the giant fish behind me mounted on the wall. <laughs> Obviously there's a lake around here somewhere. It's got some big ones. Catch us a dang bass. Get out there, play around on fort. You never know, we might be back. Okay, let's take a vote. Should I go get caught or should I fish Lake Fork by myself? We outside. We outside every day. Oh. Better be looking over at that frog. It's about to get <coughs> stone. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm telling you? Wait, what's it about to get? Oh, look at that snake in the boat. Go, go, go! Oh, God. What is it doing? Are you all right? 
Go, 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 go. What's it doing? That's a poison. Kyle, we are getting a little close. I just don't catch them here whenever we come here. It's beautiful around it, some beautiful lakes, some really big fish. I just can't get no freaking bites. That sucker looked like a big one when he bit. Take the camera back out of the, take the battery back out of the camera. Cause I ain't trying to sit here and not catch none again. <laughs> He's little though. Oh, so like fat and short. Does that hurt their feelings? Huh? Does that hurt their feelings? What? Calling oh, fat and short. Probably. Dude, I really thought that was a piggy until he jumped. And I was like, oh, that's a little. That jump was awesome, huh? Look at him. Double hooked up. Pretty little fish. First skinny one we've caught. I don't know how to drive a boat though. Crystal. Put this uh, in draft. Hey, Crystal. The waypoint, put that on Hunter. top of. This, this homemade Hunter? bait from uh, hey, look at Hunter. Tennessee. Oh, Everybody's a top notch bait. Kyle fishing. You mean the 5.30 in the morning? Lake Ray Roberts is right there. It's cracking daylight. We're allowed to be on the water at 5.39. So, ready to get out there. It's gonna be a big week. It's a long week though. We got three pre-practice days, two off days, another practice day, then another off day, and then the tournament. So, we're like seven or eight days away from the tournament right now. Looking forward to it though. Hopefully we catch us a dang bash too on Ray Roberts. This place does not have a lot of numbers in it, but it's got a lot of really big ones. The bushes are flooded. Everything looks like it's going to be kind of everything on the table this week, so we just got to find the big ones. Day two, Bassmaster Classic practice. Yesterday was day one. A little bit of a disappointing day. Fish shallow about maybe a little bit over half the day. Fish deep, close to half the day. Never had a good bite deep. Only had one good bite shallow, but I just don't really know way is shaping up just yet we're gonna get out there we got two more days of practice and then two off days and then one more day of practice so we got three days left to try to figure out this lake so really trying to find something in some offshore grass offshore brush offshore rock pile something like that where i think the bigger fish are coming to so that's what we're doing you have had two days of pre-practice right yep so what are you going to do how are you going to use your third day today i'm going to try to find some fish that I can catch maybe off like some big rock or something like that, even close to the bank. You know, coming here, I thought it was gonna be 100% one offshore, even with the high water. I still think it's most likely gonna be one offshore, but I have really struggled to get um, very many bites out there. I like fishing brush piles, rock piles, stuff like that. I fish quite a few of them, haven't had any bites at all, so I've really struggled to get some bites offshore. So for me, I think I'm gonna probably fish shallow this tournament. If there's a chance it can be one shallow, that's what I want to be doing because if I fish offshore and get beat by somebody up there flipping bushes shallow I'm going to be pretty dang upset. So we can't let that happen. We're going to tie on If the turn was today would flip a 5 8 ounce untamed tackle eviction jig around these bushes try to get five big bites And if we did we did if we don't we don't that's just how it would go because this is a tournament where you can gamble but You know the we're still got two days of practice so we can still 
figure out the offshore by a little bit figure out the maybe if it ain't even deep just like that six foot deep rock points or something like that so today we're gonna try to find something else where i feel like maybe there'll be bigger quality fish maybe a little bit deeper maybe in that four to six foot range try to get a bite or two i don't know we'll just have to see how this one goes